On the evening of November 11th, Woj tweeted Kelly Oubre was in the hospital after getting hit by a car near his home in Philly. Daryl Morey rushed to the hospital to be with his new player but got horrible news. He would miss significant time with injuries. Shams said it was a hit and run. A silver car speeding struck Oubre, breaking several ribs, injuring his hip and right leg. Thankfully, he will be okay. But this was horrible news on the court. Kelly was playing his best ball ever and key to Philly's early success. The next night, Tyrese Maxey dropped a career-high 50, but all he could talk about was his injured teammate. Man, this had nothing to do with me. This is all Kelly Oubre, man. You know, we praying for him, man. Love my dog, man. I just met him, but I love him. How could you not feel bad? A hit and run? But then the story started to fall apart. ESPN reported, hey, remember how we said he'd miss significant time? Well, actually, he only has one fracture rib and will be re-evaluated in one week. Woj then said he could be back playing in two weeks. A Christmas miracle! Until the police started talking. Days later, a Philly newspaper reported, surveillance footage recovered so far in the alleged hit and run shows no evidence that a crash occurred at the intersection where Oubre reported being hit Saturday night. Sixers guard Kelly Oubre Jr. told police he was struck Saturday night by a silver vehicle that kept on going at the intersection of Spruce and Hicks Streets in Center City. But days after the incident, and a police spokesperson says investigators have no video or photographic evidence that the incident occurred. It turns out that's a super busy street in downtown Philly. There are cameras everywhere. So to get multiple angles, reporters contacted two businesses, watched multiple hours of video, and saw nothing. Why would Oubre lie? Well, there are two explanations. The first is he's not lying. Kelly is brand new to the area and just moved in a few weeks ago. He might have reported the wrong intersection and the police are looking at the wrong video. Or he doesn't want to end up like Monte Ellis. But first, today's video is sponsored by Underdog and we had a pretty good weekend on Underdog. By the way, it's always a good weekend, win or lose, because I only play Underdog Fantasy to have fun. My favorite game is called Pick'em. You pick higher or lower from your favorite players on whatever teams you're gonna watch. You can 20X your money on any given night, but you will always enjoy that game a little more. So I wanna give you my two picks for tonight. First up, we're going with James Harden against the Spurs. His points and assists were gonna go higher. He's actually scored over 20 points the last two games, and Russell Westbrook's now coming off the bench. Next is Mike Conley against the New York Knicks. His assists were gonna go lower than five and a half because the Knicks have a great defense and guys just don't get a lot of assists against them. And if you're going with those picks, best of luck. Check this map to see if Underdog is available in your area, but always use promo code AMHOOPS when you first sign up. It really, really helps the channel, so thank you. But also, you can double your first deposit up to 100 bucks. Monte had just signed a gigantic deal for the Warriors in the 08 offseason, but he called the dubs and said he injured his ankle playing hoops. So they sent doctors to investigate, and Monte had a grade three ankle sprain, way worse than a basketball injury, and he had cuts up and down his leg. They accused him of lying, and he confessed. It turns out Monte crushed his ankle in a moped accident. So GM Chris Mullen begged them not to punish his star player, but the team president disagreed. Chris Mullen made it perfectly clear he didn't think this was a big deal. Well, we happen to think it's a very big deal. It's a big deal to our fans, big deal to our season ticket holders, our business partners, and a big deal for the Warriors organization. So they handed down a 30 game suspension without pay, a $3 million moped injury. And he's got a bum ankle. How could the Warriors even do that? Because every player agrees not to do dangerous things like skydiving, hang gliding, snow skiing, rock or mountain climbing, water or jet skiing, white water rafting, rappelling, bungee jumping, trampoline jumping, and mountain biking. Oh, mountain biking. Turns out Kelly Oubre Jr loves the mountain bike. Did it all the time while on the Charlotte Hornets. It's a way to get his mind off life and rejuvenate. But if he is so skilled at biking, 
How did he get hurt on the sidewalk? Well, that same report mentioned, police sources say Ubre was disoriented and may not have known where he was. Disoriented. Like, are they trying to say he was on something? Well, you can see why if this is true, Kelly wanted to cover it up. So after all this came out, reporters rushed to the game and confronted Coach Nick Nurse. You talked to him about it, about the report. Have you talked to him since the report? Uh, I went to see him yesterday. Okay, but I can, can I add to what Howard's saying? I'm Annie McCormick from Channel 6. Um, what we're hearing from sources within the police department is that they think that this might be a situation where what he is reporting happened didn't in fact occur. Do you believe him that he yes, was hit by a vehicle? I do. So they believe him, but the police don't? That's what that reporter said. She said police sources think what Kelly said didn't actually occur. That is a huge deal. But shortly after that press conference, TM MZ released a video showing Kelly walking into his apartment in pain, telling his wife he got hit by a car. It's almost like the video got leaked in response to the cops' accusations. But instead of clearing things up, it raised more questions. First, why is their door unlocked? I mean, Kelly just walks right in. Don't you think you would lock your door in a big city you just moved to? Also, why is he carrying the bike? If you look at the police report, it says a 27-year-old pedestrian was walking westbound on Spruce when a silver vehicle hit him in the upper chest area. Police said medics treated Ubre at the scene and transported him to the hospital. Okay, so nothing about a bike. It says he was walking and they treated him at the scene and took him to the hospital. Why is he walking into his apartment? It doesn't say they treated him at his apartment. It says the medics met him at the scene than the hospital. This whole thing is really weird. Look, I am not saying that Kelly Oubre is lying or that Draymond Green did this, but you never know. And I really don't think in the age of player empowerment that the Sixers would suspend Oubre like Monte Ellis back in the day. But maybe they said, hey, we know that you love mountain biking, but we don't want you to do it on this team. Then if he was disoriented, maybe he panicked and decided to lie in the moment. Now he's caught up in this whole thing. I don't know what happened, but this is a huge moment for Ubre. He's just been okay in his NBA career. Showed a lot of promise as a young guy on the Wizards and Suns, but his stock went down on the Warriors. He was always a below average three point shooter and was a big part of why the dub sucked in 2021. Then he gets traded to Charlotte and with a bunch of injuries, he was thrust into a bigger role. So last year, career highs in points at over 20 a game with 1.4 steals. The perfect time to become a free agent, but no one wanted him. Most people assumed Oubre was just putting up big numbers on a bad team and could not actually contribute to winning. So instead he had to settle for a one year minimum deal on the Sixers. But on opening night, Kelly dropped 27 points on five of six from deep. And it wasn't a fluke. He followed it up with 23 and 25 against the Raptors and Suns. When Philly traded PJ Tucker in the James Harden deal, they rewarded Oubre with a starting spot. He was a fan favorite until this tragic news about the car accident. Was Kelly trying to cover for himself in the biggest year of his career? Or is this all a misunderstanding and he's the victim of a hit and run? We might find out, but I wanted to lay out all the facts for you guys to make your own decision. Now, another guy with a big year is Jordan Poole. Things are not going so great for him on the Wizards, but one thing is really unfair. A viral video came out of him showing up his teammates during a timeout, but that video is a straight up lie. <laughs> 